Sunbridge has been all the rave and we're getting to it right now. My name is June Cranick and on this channel we talk about all things as it relates to purchasing, investing, buying, moving to Orlando, Central Florida, and or Florida in general. So today we're going to be talking about Sunbridge. I've done multiple updates and they just seem to be uh, something that people are really interested in. And um, I have to say that there's some new stuff going on at Sunbridge that I'm kind of super impressed with. I mean, I love Sunbridge anyway. Everyone knows how I feel about Tavistock. I think Tavistock is just spot on. So I want to talk a little bit about um, the homes first. And then I want to break into, you know, stick around because there's some really cool things happening in the Sunbridge area, um, and which I want to talk about. So first of all, I, I drove in, I drove around. There is a lot of movement now. They have, you know, kind of really taken off. Every time I go, I wait like three, four months or so, and there's a lot going on. So talk about a couple of builders and what they're doing. So I want to start with Pulte. Um, Pulte has four different home plans in that Westland Park area. They run from a two bedroom to a five bedroom, two to three and a half bath. I'm just giving you range, okay? Um, one or two stories, you know, it depends on the, the uh, elevation. And they start in the mid 500s. So again, remember this. Right now, the only thing I've seen, Del Webb was a separate thing. Del Webb is the uh, active adult community, which is off the chain beautiful. They did not do wood construction. Um, but in Westland Park, it is all wood construction. So you have to kind of make peace with that. Do your due diligence. I'm not 100% opposed or for, you know? Their pitch is their pitch. Um, they were like, well, we have a two year warranty. Okay, great. What about 30 years from now? So, um, but it, it's not, it's the second area now that I've seen that's building wood construction. So it's kind of a new thing because I thought wood was in a surplus. I mean, you know, we couldn't get wood and wood prices were shooting up. So I'm very confused by that. So there's gotta be a business angle. So, okay. David Weekly Homes, very cool builder. Seven different floor plans that range from three to five bedroom. They range from two to four and a half baths, so big homes, one to two stories, and they start in the mid 400s, which seems a little low, but um, David Weekly is a, a great builder, a little more of that contemporary style, a little funky. Um, and I've done multiple videos, um, and uh, so if you want to look at some of them, I will put them in the description. Uh, then we have Toll Brothers. Oh, of my toll brothers. They have five floor plans, three to six bedrooms, uh, two and a half to five and a half bath, and one to two story, and they be begin in the 600s. When you say toll brothers begins in the 600s, I think that's before, you know, a doorknob, because really, honestly, toll brothers is not an inexpensive builder. Not in Westland Park. They do have that mid-level build now, which I think is super cool, but this ain't it. And then there's Kraft Homes, which Kraft is also kind of that funky vibe, kind of a little avant-garde, a little different. Um, they have 15 floor plans. They range from three to five bedrooms, two baths to five and a half bath, one to two story, and they start in the 500s. So there is a big range there. And in fact, I have video of the Jasmine model that um, I went into, which was a craft home. And it was a small home for craft. It was, uh, I believe all the bedrooms were upstairs. I think it was a three bedroom, two bath. Small for craft. So um, there's going to be a range from very small to very, very big, like 3,800 square feet. So um, I hope that you can see that footage from that, from that model. And in fact, if we need to pause for a minute to run it, that's great too.
Then we have Ashton Woods, which um, they have nine floor plans. Ashton Woods, I do like. I went into their model, which hopefully you'll see that too. But all the bedrooms were offices, so it didn't really, I couldn't really, I didn't want to walk in there because nobody was in there. And sometimes they get real weird about the filming. And then some dude ran in who had a beautiful BMW out front and he was in shorts. Anyway, I'm assuming he worked there. I think it was maybe his day off and he was just running in. Sorry, I got my dog on my lap. Um, running in. You want to say hi? Say hi. Hi, Peanut. <laughs> um, he just ran in real quick, so I didn't want to ask him any questions. He did not seem like he was wanting to talk too much. But anyway, um, nine floor plans, three to six bedrooms, two to five and a half bath, one to two story, starting from the 500s. I do like Ashton Woods. It is a higher end product, um, beautiful homes. So um, this model didn't really tell me too much. It was a little smaller for Ashton Woods. Um, it looked like just a three bedroom, two bath. So anyway. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, uh, there was just new models opening. There was, uh, I mean, as we run the footage, you can see lots and lots of homes being built. The place is blowing up. So um, stick around to the end of this video. We will run some footage for you so you can see um, all the houses building. So yeah, there was a lot of movement over there. So I also got an opportunity, I got out, I walked around into this new area, it looked like, um, I think it might be a community pool area, and then it had like a little playground, and then it had um, like a covered area, I think there might be picnic tables there or something, I know some of the workers were sleeping in there, so I didn't want to walk up and film there, because um, it was hot out, and God bless them out there, God bless them. So uh, my hat's off too. So, you know, I, I want you to hear this. So the theme again for Sunbridge is neighborhood. And it's hard to feel that way for me. I've been getting on this kick about us tearing everything down. Like we have got to slow down and let some trees and let the poor little animals be. I mean, oh, every time I turn around, they're clearing it out. And it's just unbelievable. Like I can't even watch the videos on Netflix about what we're doing to the planet. So with that being said, I do like what they are doing. They are taking out of the 27,000 acres that Sunbridge has bought, 13,370 are dedicated to conservation and they're looking for sustainability for healthy ecosystems. So again, this is why I love Tavistock. Because yes, they're making a lot of money off this property, but half of it, or a little less than half, will stay conservation. Now, whether that's the law or them just capitalizing on it being the law and they're just saying, look what we're doing, you know, God bless them, because we gotta keep some, some trees. So they have some really cool stuff going on, which I'll talk about in a minute. But anyway, right now, with just the small amount of people that live there, because all the houses are under construction. There's not many people. And then you'll notice there'll be a model and then it's like private residence, like don't knock on our door type of thing. But they have food truck Friday. It's um, from five to seven at base camp. And that's the last Friday of the month. And if you're not familiar, Sunbridge has, gonna, has base camp, which is like their ode to camping and wilderness, the neighborhood theme. And they're gonna have events there. Then there's gonna be the Marine section, which they're building a huge man-made water lake, whatever you call it, I don't think you call it a lake. Um, and it will have shops and restaurants and be super cool in that way. So they're building different areas. Let's show um, like a, a, an overall plan of it. You can see in the color-coded areas, the different areas of Sunbridge. So um, there's gonna be yoga on the green in front of the yurts, which are at base camp, um, on, uh, on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Then the Nature Who Are theme, they wanna stay congruent with that theme and they wanna stay with using local plants. And that's kind of like, you know, instead of importing plants, let's kind of focus on the plants that work here in Orlando and Central Florida and St. Cloud. 
And so I show footage where I stopped and I went over where they're, they're growing, you know, different crops. So hopefully um, you can see that. So they're really staying congruent with the theme. So if nature and trying to conserve nature is your, your bag, you might want to really check this out, which is why they say they're building wood houses. Um, and then they're breaking ground on their first community school, K through eight, which is opening in 2024. It should be done the summer of 2024. It will house 1,400 students with 150 staff members. So that's gonna be super cool too. So now people that were kind of concerned about the school zones, which I'm not even getting into, um, they can, they can uh, finally buy a house there because then you know there's gonna be a school. So um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Progress. Now there was this whole other write-up about, I'm sorry, let me put my dog down. Your pain. Um, there's uh, this other whole write-up about their five key initiatives, what they're really trying to focus on, and I am really down with all of these. Um, the first one is water quality preservation. Now, I'm gonna try to remember to put this link in the description so you can kind of pull it up, and it goes into each area and what their goal is for that area. Um, it's just too much information for, for a video. Um, the second one that they're working on is water resource conservation, which I think, you know, Tavistock is looking to the future, not just for today and tearing down everything that they see. The third thing is renewable energy and efficiency. And you'll notice these houses are, um, most of them have like a starter kit of uh, solar panels which is nice. You have to add more, I think, to generate for the entire house or, you know, you know, like there's a half and half kind of thing. They have some included in the overall price. Um, so that's nice. So renewable energy and energy efficiency and really capitalizing on the fact that we have sun beating down on us 24, you know, not 24 seven, but you know, almost 365 days a year. Today is one of the first days I've seen in a long time that is overcast. It has just been sunny through the entire winter, which sucks because I like having a little cool weather. Number four is ecological preservation, which come on, like these poor little animals. Like for me to see a deer out at the road, it's like, why is there a deer here? Because the deer is running because all of the trees and their whole area is being torn down. So I'm really getting on a kick with this. My goal is to buy a hundred acres and leave it so animals can run free. And then five is community engagement, getting people involved, you know, getting people on that same save the planet, renewable energy, water conservation, all that kind of stuff, movement. So um, sorry, I know I'm getting a little bit on a tangent. I just don't know what to do about all of this building. And it's my business, crazy, right? So today we were talking about Sunbridge and you know some of the very, very cool things that Sunbridge is doing. Um, and you know, maybe a little controversial some of it, but uh, if that's not what you're looking for, you gotta let us know, you gotta reach out, let us know exactly what it is that you need so we can get those videos out to you right away. So remember, if you're thinking about moving to Orlando and or investing in property here, give, uh, send us a text, give us a call, send us an email, however you wish to connect, because we got you covered when it comes to moving to Orlando or Central Florida or Florida in general. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.